Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. In this video, we're going to showcase all of the magic weapons that are in the game pre-Ashlands. Let's get you up to speed. So far, there are four magic weapons that you can use, although the enemies actually have a bunch more magic spells. The four that we have so far are the Staff of Frost, Staff of Embers, the Skeleton, and the Shield. At the moment, here's what's available. Keep in mind, in order to upgrade them all the way, you'll need to use the two additions, one of which was added recently. The Staff of Embers starts out doing blunt and fire damage, and then it also catches the enemy on fire. Each level, it does a little bit more fire damage. The Staff of Embers, this is the most long range weapon, and you can actually mortar from far away if they sneak attack attack, boom. The Staff of Embers will make short work of huge groups of enemies. It's by far the most powerful weapon in the game at the moment, especially against enemies like goblins, which group up. Make sure that you are aware of where the ranged enemies are, but really, as long as you get the fireballs off every couple seconds, the goblins are screwed. They don't stand a chance. The Staff of Frost is basically like a machine gun that slows the enemy down. It's more of a suppressive thing, as the Staff of Frost levels up, it does a little bit more damage. The Staff of Frost is a fantastic suppressive weapon, but it's much more appropriate to use it against individual enemies. As long as you keep having magic, you can basically keep enemies sort of slowed in space. You can see that they can still attack you, but they get slowed as long as you keep attacking. Even the really strong ones, like this two-star berserker. You can see how it makes short work of the Berserker, as long as you stay back. Damage. The Staff of Protection changes significantly, because level 1 Staff of Protection will only protect you for a minute, but then level 2 will protect you for 2 minutes. It gets twice as good. The amount of damage that this protects depends on the level of your blood magic. We this, have the staff of protection. this item puts a bubble on you, and it lasts for a minute or two minutes. And the shield, even at the lower levels, is actually quite good. And the shield's quite good because it breaks and takes the hit. It'll actually save your life with the shield breaking, as you'll see in a second. There we go. See? I didn't lose any health, but the shield broke. So the shield makes it way, way, way easier for you to be a bit more aggressive in combat. Because as you can see now, if I if they land a hit on me, I'm in trouble. But because the Staff of Embers is supremely good at group combat, they'll just run and all catch on fire and And that, that'll be that. The skeleton also upgrades. At first, with the level one, you can only have one skeleton, but then with level two, you can summon two skeletons. Unfortunately, with both of these items at the moment, two seems to be their max level. And the dead razor is its own thing, honestly. It's, it's super cool. You, you raise a skeleton, and it's basically your pet. You can name it, and oh, the melee skeletons, yeah, they're okay. But if you're lucky, you'll get a bow skeleton. And the bow skeletons, honestly, I think they're just way better just because they can actually hit the enemies from far away and they're more useful. Whereas the melee skeletons, let's just say, have a habit of running up into their death. They actually benefit from the Staff of Protection. So you can significantly increase the skeleton's longevity by having the bubble up. The skeleton's role isn't so much to do a bunch of damage, although you can see that they can sort of hold their own against certain enemies once your magic's high enough. The role of the skeletons is more to distract enemies from you, because it makes dealing with a whole group of enemies much easier when, you know, some of them are circling around focusing on that guy, see, the skeleton's aggroing that goblin. So I only have to deal with this one goblin, and then the goblin came over here to try and get me, and my skeleton guy shot this goblin in the back, you know? It's, it's really cool how, how it all works out. 
they're quite useful in a sort of suppressive, supportive role. And that's it! That's all four of the current magic weapons. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be a bunch more magic weapons. The other monsters in Valheim already have some staffs that do specific magic attacks. So if you want to learn more about Valheim or you want to check out my video about setting up your own dedicated server, check out my other Valheim videos. I've got a load of different content, all of tutorials about Valheim. I love making tutorials, it's really fun. So if you want a tutorial, then comment below and let me know. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.